Hi guys, how's it going? You're here with Stuart today in the KO8 studio. What we'll be going through today is five movements related to combat. So feel free to join in, whether it's at home or at a different studio, and let us know what you think. So what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna get cracking with the first exercise, which is gonna be the wood chop. Obviously, we're gonna do this both sides. So guys, what we're gonna do, coming over, making sure that our K weight is on a high anchor point, grabbing hold of one of the handles, making sure the bands are nice and tight. You don't wanna be starting over here. Nice, you wanna be over here like so. Starting like here, and coming in, chopping downwards. Making sure that the head follows and the hips come all the way round. Really trying to work on those obliques, and getting that full range of motion, chopping down aggressively and coming back slowly. Common mistakes we can make here, guys, is this can get wrapped around you. That's not what we're looking for. Just want to be chopping downwards like so. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move into the second exercise, which is gonna be a punch step variation. So if I go with my right hand, I make sure I stand with my right leg forward. I personally tuck my knuckles into the cradle so it's in there nice and tight. And when we're throwing this punch, what we're looking for is that step and punch movement at the same time. Also guys, try and make sure you're getting that T-spine rotation on the way back. And here we go guys. Okay guys, good work. So what we're gonna do now, is we're now gonna go into our third exercise, which is gonna be a harness exercise. So all we do guys, is we get the carabiner, we unclip one side of it, bring that one down here, keeping these D-rings together by the handles. The one strap that is spare, clips up to the carabiner that's on the other side at the top of the D-rings. So it should end up looking like that. Nice, and once we've got that guys, all we're gonna do, is just gonna roll up, these handles, so we come into like a cradle. We're gonna gently put ourselves into it. And the next combination, guys, again, always making sure we're nice and tight on here, making sure there's tension on the bands. All we're gonna come into is our one, two, a sprawl, and back up. Trying to stay in that fight stance throughout. Remember, guys, when you're throwing these punches, just making sure that you're getting the full twist. Nice, and here we go, guys. One, two, and sprawling. You'll find that with the resistance bands on, it will help you sprawl easier because the resistance band will want to pull you up, which makes it nice and easy, guys. Really good work, guys. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna come into the fourth exercise. So we're gonna move from resistance into suspension mode. So making sure that the carabiners are now clipped at the bottom, not at the top, on both sides. And we're gonna come into it like so. So what we're gonna do now, guys, is we're gonna come into a reverse lunge with a knee, same leg, reverse lunge, and kick, and then change over. So reverse lunge with a knee, reverse lunge with a kick, and then changing over, guys. Okay, so speeding that up a little bit. Knee, kick, meeting in the middle, changing. Meeting in the middle and changing. So guys, moving into the fifth and final exercise of the day. All we're gonna do, making sure it's still on suspension mode, we're gonna come into an inverted row. So first things we do here, guys, is we roll our shoulders back, coming and finding an angle that you're comfortable with, coming up like so, coming down, and then on the second one, you're gonna come over with an elbow. So it's one row, down, row, elbow row, making sure you're getting that full range of motion and then coming over with that elbow. So one row, one elbow and then change inside. So row and elbow. Again, making sure your back stays nice and straight throughout. So 
So there you have it guys, there's five combat related exercises that are fun, doable, but yet quite tricky. Please be sure to check out the K8 30 day challenge. Have a great time guys and see you soon.